Congratulations, you're now the owner of a Cuisinart food processor. Just learn a few simple basic techniques and you'll find a food processor will change the way you think about cooking. And don't be afraid to use it often, every time you cook, even after work, because your new food processor is crafted for convenience. It's easy to use and easy to clean. This videotape will help you get familiar with food processor cooking. There will be great recipes from Cuisinart's executive chef, Fabrizio Botero. You'll learn techniques for chopping, shredding, slicing, grating, mixing, kneading and pureeing, and others. Learn how to make homemade bread and pizza, scrumptious frozen yogurt, an elegant salad, apple pie from scratch, stir-fry and pasta dishes, and many other quick, easy recipes. We'll show you how to prepare perfect whole tomato slices and decorative green pepper rings, and even how to make fresh, all-natural peanut butter. Now, watch, listen, and enjoy. Hi, I'm Susan Dumont-Bengston from Cuisinart. Let's begin by looking at what came with your food processor. And please refer to the unpacking instructions on the inside carton flaps, as well as to the quick reference operating instructions, and of course to your instruction and recipe book as you go along. And remember, the blades and cutting edges are very sharp, so be sure to handle them very carefully. Here is your motor base. It houses a very powerful and efficient motor that won't bog down. The controls are super easy to use. Turn it on like this. Turn it off like this. If you want to pulse to control chopping or slicing, for example, press down like this. See how easy it is? Here is your work bowl. It is extremely durable, heat and cold resistant, and goes right in the dishwasher for easy cleanup. The large feed tube cover features this unique, huge opening, so you can slice or shred whole foods. No need to cut fruits and vegetables up to fit. This large pusher fits over the large feed tube opening. And for safety reasons, you'll see that your food processor won't turn on if the pusher is not locked into place. This compact or flat cover comes with some models. It is ideal to use for chopping or preparing any baked goods. In other words, whenever you are not slicing or shredding. The high quality stainless steel mixing blade that came with your food processor is so versatile. Always hold it by the white hub and be careful because the blade is very sharp. Use it to chop or mince parsley, mince garlic, chop nuts coarse or fine, grind beef poultry or fish, and to make tuna salad better than ever. You also get a precision medium slicing disc. Use it to slice lemons, radishes, cucumbers, and all your favorite fruits and vegetables. Refer to your instruction book to find out how to slice well-chilled meat and cheese. Some machines also come with a thin slicing disc. It's ideal for making coleslaw or slicing mushrooms and potatoes. Make long, uniform shreds with this patented shredding disc. Shredded carrots, potatoes, and cheddar cheese have never been easier to do. Your detachable stem fits all discs and lets you store them neatly. Even if you've never made bread before, you can now with this remarkable dough blade. Use it for large recipes calling for three and a half cups or more of flour. Check your instruction book for the right quantities for your machine. A sturdy spatula contoured to use inside the work bowl comes with all models. And you'll be glad to know that cleanup is easy. All the parts except the motor base go right in the dishwasher. If you have a pro food prep center, you also have a whisk attachment. Use it right inside the work bowl to whip cream, beat egg whites, or mashed potatoes. I know you're anxious to use your new food processor, so let's put it together. You'll see how compact it is, and you'll want to keep it on your counter so you can easily use it every day. Grab your work bowl by the handle and place it with the handle slightly to the left of center over the motor shaft, like this. Now turn it counterclockwise until you feel it firmly in place with the handle right in the center. Pick up the metal blade by the hub. It's sharp, so handle it carefully. Match the outline on top of the hub with the shaft and drop it into place inside the work bowl. Now position the compact cover on top of the bowl 
with the Cuisinart name slightly to the left of center. Use both hands to turn the cover counterclockwise until it clicks. To remove the cover, turn it clockwise and just lift it off. First, I'll show you how to chop and how to use the on and off pulse controls. And I'll use an onion to do this. So plug in your machine and we'll be ready to begin. And by the way, you'll notice that your food processor is built to be safe. It won't turn on without the cover locked into place. Place one inch pieces of onion right in your bowl. Put the cover back on and use the pulse lever to get just the texture you want. About four pulses for a coarse chop, a few more until they're just the way you want them. Remember, the pulse control gives you the exact texture that you want. If you do not have a compact cover, you can certainly chop with a large feed tube cover. Place it on top of the bowl like this and move this white slide lock to the right to lock the sleeve in place. Then turn the cover counterclockwise until you hear it click. Use the pulse control to chop. Have you ever wondered how the Cuisinart demonstrators get perfect tomato slices? You can too. You'll need the slicing disc, detachable stem, and the large feed tube cover. Start by attaching the stem to the disc. Place the disc flat on your countertop and line up the symbols on the stem with those of the disc. Push the stem down and turn it clockwise to snap it into place. If it's properly locked, it won't move. Pick up the disc by the edges and place it over the motor shaft. Without touching the edges, make sure you push it all the way down. The cutting edge is sharp. Now replace the cover. To fit the tomato into the feed tube opening, you'll need to remove the pusher. Simply press on this wide tab and lift straight up. For really perfect slices, cut the stem end on the tomato flat. Then place the tomato cut side down in the feed tube. Now, slide the white slide lock to the left to unlock it and release the sleeve. Place it over the large feed tube, press down on the sleeve, and you'll hear it click. Use light even pressure on the pusher and the pulse control to slice the tomato. It's that easy. Now use both hands to remove the cover by turning it counterclockwise. And here's a tip to keep your countertop neat and clean. Turn the cover upside down and don't worry about it falling over. Lift the slicing disc up by the rim with your fingers away from the cutting edge. Turn it upside down inside the cover. And look, beautiful whole tomato slices. To remove the stem from your slicing disc, push up on this button and turn it back the other way. To slice a single long vegetable like a cucumber or a few smaller vegetables like celery or carrots, place them in the small feed tube. Remove the small white pusher from the large one. Be sure the vegetables fit snugly. Place your cucumber in the small feed tube. Use the small pusher to push it through and the pulse control and slice. Some Cuisinart food processors come with a whisk attachment. It is a great way to mash potatoes, whipped cream, or beet egg whites with no splatter right inside the work bowl. Here's how to use it. Start by placing the hub adapter inside the work bowl like this over the shaft. Snap the metal ring on top to keep it snug. Add the egg whites at this point. Now, click the beaters in place inside the white power unit like this. Place the power unit with the beaters inside the work bowl over the hub adapter and push down. You'll feel and hear it click into place. Put the cover on the food processor. Turn the machine on. And that's all there is to it. After about a minute, the egg whites will be frothy, like this. After about two minutes, they will really firm up, and you'll be able to see the tracks inside the egg whites.
after about three minutes, the egg whites will be stiff and look like this. To remove the whisk attachment, twist it clockwise and lift it straight up out of the bowl. After you've removed the egg whites from the bowl, unsnap the ring, gently twist and lift the hub adapter out of the bowl. What can you do with beaten egg whites? Check your instruction book for this wonderful recipe for a lemon meringue pie. Even if you've never made bread before, you can with your Cuisinart food processor. Add a package of dry active yeast and a little sugar to some warm water. The yeast will take about five minutes to foam, which tells you it's active. Place the dough blade inside the work bowl. If you're making a small recipe with less than three and a half cups of flour, use the metal blade. Now place the flour and salt inside the work bowl. Add butter or margarine, or you may prefer to omit the shortening if you're making French bread. Put the cover on and turn the food processor on. Then add the cold water to the yeast mixture and check the bread recipe in your instruction book for specific amounts. Now listen, this is important. When you add the water yeast mixture, Add it in a slow, steady stream as fast as the flour will absorb it. If you're using the large feed tube cover, remove the small white pusher and pour the water in through the small feed tube opening. You can replace the white pusher when the dough starts kneading. As soon as the dough begins to form a ball, time it for about 45 seconds to let it knead. It will look like this. You'll know the dough is right when you see it clean the inside of the bowl. Not too wet or too dry, but just right. You can use this dough for bread and rolls or even homemade pizza. Check out your instruction book for the details. Shape it into a ball and let it rise so when it's baked, it will have a really light texture. After about an hour and a half, it will look like this, doubled in volume. Now open the bag and punch down the dough to release any trapped air bubbles. Then shape it into a loaf. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, it will still bake up into a great loaf. Take a piece of saran wrap and treat it with a little oil cooking spray. Place it on top of the loaf that is going to rise. And after about 30 minutes, it will look like this, ready to bake. Check out the details in your instruction book, and you too can make a terrific looking loaf like this one. If you've never tasted homemade pizza, you're in for a surprise. Prepare your favorite toppings, then put it all together. Begin with the mozzarella. Be sure the mozzarella is well chilled. Place it in the large feed tube. Turn the machine on and hold the pusher up. cheese will almost shred itself. Just tap on the pusher to guide it through. To make whole pepper rings, cut the stem end flat. Remove the core and seeds. Place the pepper cut side down in the large feed tube. Use light pressure on the pusher and slice. To get more slices from pepperoni than you've ever gotten slicing it by hand, use your food processor. Pack the pieces of pepperoni the height of the feed tube, either in the large feed tube or the small feed tube. Use firm pressure and the pulse control to slice. Have you ever tasted homemade peanut butter? There's really nothing like it. Refer to your instruction book for the quantity of peanuts for your machine. You can use cocktail or dry roasted peanuts, but it will probably taste better if you use salted nuts. Add the peanuts to the work bowl with the metal blade in place. Turn the machine on and watch. The 
first thing you'll see are chopped peanuts. It makes a racket, but it won't hurt the durable Lexan work bowl. After about two minutes, the chopped nuts form a ball. After about three minutes, the ball smooths out into all natural fresh peanut butter. The next recipe is a salad that takes almost no time to make, yet it looks like it was made by a professional chef. Make the dressings first. This is a fresh vinaigrette that is really good with almost any variety of salad greens. With the metal blade in place, mince the parsley. While the machine is running, drop the shallots into the small feed tube. If you have a flat cover with your food processor, you may be wondering why we're not using it for this recipe. That's because we're going to be slicing vegetables into the salad dressing. So we'll use the same cover for both. Also, add the oil, vinegar, and other dressing ingredients through this feed tube opening while the machine is running. Your dressing is done. Now remove the metal blade and add the slicing disc. Place the cover over the bowl and press on the large tab to lift off the pusher. After you cut off the stem end, place the tomato cut side down inside the large feed tube. Replace the pusher and press the, the sleeve into place until you hear it lock. Then slice it with light pressure on the pusher. Leave the tomato slices inside the work bowl. Now cut the lettuce into wedges to fit snugly in the large feed tube. To keep the lettuce section together, use the rubber bands. Now watch what happens to the rubber bands when you slice. The band stays on top of the disc. Pretty incredible, don't you think? Continue slicing by loading wedges into the large feed tube and slicing on top of the tomato. When you're done, remove the cover and turn it over to keep your countertop clean. Another tip, place the disc inside the cover. You can now remove the bowl from the motor base and refrigerate the salad for a couple of hours or serve it right away. Turn the bowl upside down on top of a platter and arrange the tomato slices. Shredded cabbage for coleslaw is actually sliced. Here's how to do it. Prepare the cabbage as you see here. Refer to your instruction book for details. Use the thin two millimeter slicing disc if you have one. It's especially good for coleslaw. Use medium pressure and the pulse control to slice the cabbage. And it will look shredded, like this. Coleslaw, the quickest way you've ever made it. These main courses, with or without chicken, are easy enough to make after work, yet elegant enough to serve when you're entertaining. Start by slicing some colorful vegetables. Cut the side off a of red pepper. The recipe in your instruction book gives you the quantities for your machine. Place them in the large feed tube horizontally to get long strip of peppers, like this. Next, place scallions in the feed tube the same way. Using very light pressure and the pulse control, push them through to slice. Remove the stem from the slicing disc and connect it to the shredding disc. Cut the zucchini into pieces to feed the feed tube horizontally so you get long shreds. Prepare and shred the yellow squash in the same way. Okay. 
Now reserve the vegetables and continue with the recipe. All you need to do is to scrape the vegetables out with the spatula and then use a paper towel to wipe out any little pieces. A good rule of thumb, process dry ingredients first, then finish up with wet one. So you don't need to wash the bowl out until you're all done. Now mince the garlic and the fresh ginger with the metal blade. This takes about five seconds. Remove the blade, but leave the garlic and the ginger in the work bowl. To get uniform slices of chicken that will cook evenly, slice it in your food processor. Watch carefully. To prepare the chicken for slicing, place half a boneless, skinless breast on a piece of plastic wrap, roll it tightly, and freeze it for at least 45 minutes. When it's solid, but it can still be pierced with the tip of a knife, it's ready to slice. With your slicing disc in place, cut the chicken breast in half and place them in the feed tube upside down. Use firm pressure to slice. Next, make the sauce. It's easy in your food processor. While the machine is running, add the sauce, ingredients, cornstarch to the full small feed tube, and mix until smooth, about 15 seconds. Cook the chicken following the recipe in your instruction book. You can make all kinds of exciting main courses with your food processor. You can use either cover to grate Parmesan cheese in your food processor. With the metal blade in place, add one inch pieces of cheese to the bowl, then turn the machine on. Let it run until the Parmesan is just the way you like it. You'll be glad you have a Cuisinart food processor every time you make this recipe for pineapple frozen yogurt with raspberry sauce. You can make the sauce first that will keep refrigerated for two to three days. Puree thawed frozen raspberries with honey until smooth, about 30 seconds. Then remove the seed by letting the sauce drain through a sieve. Notice how I hold the metal blade in place with a fingertip inserted into the underside of the work bowl. Rinse the bowl and the blade and add the frozen pineapple pieces. Your instruction book recipe tells you how to freeze the fruit. Add the sugar with the frozen pineapple chunks and then pulse several times to break up the fruit. Then let the machine run until it turns into fruit snow. Stop once to scrape down the side of the work bowl. Now add the lemon juice and add the yogurt. Let the machine run, stopping once to scrape the side of the bowl. Watch for that thick, smooth texture. When it's right, you can scoop it right out of the work bowl. Using your food processor to make chocolate chip cookies is the best and fastest way. You start by creaming the sugars with the butter, then mix in the eggs and vanilla, then layer the dry ingredients followed by the nuts and finally the chocolate chips. Just pulse to combine. Use your spatula to blend in any flour that may remain on top, and you're done. Follow the chocolate chip oatmeal cookie recipe in your instruction book, or make your favorite cookie recipe. I'll bet you never thought about using a food processor to prepare a cake mix. Well, it's not only much quicker than any other way, but the result is really excellent. Start with the cake mix in the work bowl with a metal blade in place. Then turn the machine on. And while the machine's running, add the egg oil and water through the feed tube opening. Count one minute to mix. Now remove the work bowl, then hold the blade in place with a fingertip under the bowl 
like this to empty the cake batter into the pan. And to get every last bit of batter out of the bowl, put the cover back on, give one quick pulse to clean the blade. And now it's easy to use your spatula to clean out the work bowl. We'll use the large feed tube cover to make this homemade apple pie because we'll be mixing and slicing. The metal blade makes cutting the shortening into the flour very easy. Follow the quantities in the recipe for the pastry that's in your instruction book or any pastry recipe you like. Let the shortening and the flour mix until they look like coarse meal. Then, with the machine running, add the ice water through the small feed tube opening. Chilled butter and ice water are the real secret to successful pastry. Your Cuisinart keeps the dough very cold and doesn't overwork it. Now listen carefully. Stop the machine when the pastry just masses together about 30 seconds. Don't let it form a ball. Here's a tip to help you roll out the dough. Divide the dough into two and place each in a plastic wrap. Shape into a flat disc. You can roll it out immediately or refrigerate it. Place the roll out crust in a pie plate. Check your recipe for the right size. Use the metal blade to mix the sugar and spices about five seconds. No need to wash out the bowl. Then remove the metal blade, insert the slicing disc, and you're ready to slice the apple. The cutting edge is sharp, so handle the slicing disc by the rim, like this. Place on the cover on top of the bowl, Press on the large tab to remove the pusher and place the whole apple in the feed tube. Slice with medium pressure on the pusher and the pulse control. Keep loading the feed tube until all the apples are sliced. Empty the apple and spice mixture into the prepared crust. Use your spatula to get every bit out. Making homemade pies in your food processor, it's easy. Check out the recipe in your instruction book and give it a try. Cleanup is easy when you cook with your Cuisinart food processor. Take everything but the motor base and put it all in the dishwasher. Remember, when you own a Cuisinart product, you can count on us for quality service. Our food processors come with a three-year limited warranty on the entire unit, plus a five-year full motor warranty. You can count on your food processor to give you years of dependable use. If you ever need assistance, our own trained Cuisinart experts are happy to help. Just give us a call at 1-800-726-0190 whenever you have a question about techniques, recipes, or to find out about other Cuisinart products. You can trust Cuisinart to bring you the most useful, best value, and highest quality food preparation equipment made for the home cook. From our world-famous food processors to stainless steel cookware, state-of-the-art blenders, hand mixers, coffee makers, toasters, and useful accessories, Cuisinart brings you a collection of equipment guaranteed to make your time in the kitchen more rewarding and fun. Cuisinart, for the way you cook every day.